Hello everyone, this is Tristan, and today's activity is going to be storyboarding. Now, you must be wondering what storyboarding is. Well, a storyboard is when you plan out your scene for your movie or show or animated production, um, how you're going to film it, like how you're going to shoot the scene. Instead of just like trying to decide right then and there while the camera's running, you decide how you want it to look beforehand. You could, might jot down some basic ideas, or you could uh, draw out what it could look like and like the angles you want. Storyboarding is a very useful tool. Um, the storyboard is very useful for that. It saves time. I mean, um, energy, so you're not like redoing all kinds of things trying to find the perfect way where you can kind of start setting up ahead of time. Animation does it all the time because the necessary with it because you don't want to draw something out and then have to toss out because you weren't going to use it. So you got to plan ahead. And that's what it's for, playing ahead. Now we're going to use this website called Storyboard uh, Storyboard That which has a nice cool storyboard for career. But you can easily do it with, pen, with uh, paper and pen or pencil or with crayons, markers, and so, or colored pencils to do it yourself. Well, I'm just going to show you how to do it here. Like, you're going to want um, to create your own story. So, this is cool because they have a bunch of things like scenes. So, let's pick out a scene. It has towns, entertainment. It has all kinds of stuff. You can do myth uh, mythical and futuristic. You see right here? You can now add, pull, you drag it down and add it in. You can play around, you can add filters like grayscale, sepia tone. Or, you know, play a good old color. You can even change the moon's color. And our good old friend, the Carl Wheel. Okay. Alright, so I plan on using all of these. So, do, do, do. So have to write down text. A lot of times you want to write descriptors in too. So, see what I'm doing here? Now, I'm setting up my scene. I see you can have all kinds of fun with this. Oops. Undo. And while you can keep going and like you can create and you know, this is like the scene here I'm trying to go with is that you slowly see it come driving up. And we keep doing this. And like you got add more to it, like more specifics, you can even add descriptors, like you don't want to say that. A 
adjust here. And we keep making more adjustments. Add things are here. Now, I mean, it's got. You're probably wondering why I'm doing all this. Why would you do this? Well, part of it is, is this is kind of the shot I want. So I make it very clear to the people I'm working with. This is how I want it to look. So you can get all kind of details. And then what I could do is right in here, take one of these text boxes if I need to. I mean, these are for like, for messages stuff that we can do action ones, scripters, the shapes, banners, objects. I mean, Use like the shapes here. Change the color. And I could put in here slowly. A droid uh, comes into view. So I could do something like that, describing like, and I could continue going on. We keep focusing on him. Another thing you could do is you could like, um, so with storyboards, that's kind of thing. Do things you uh, plan it out. So if I was going to go and turn around and and like animate this. Well, have someone animate this. They know they have to have this moon, Earth in the background with this with this PlayStation floating there, and then slowly they would then animate the the uh, droid coming in. We had a focus on the droid. So one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is storyboard out your favorite movie. Pick a scene from one of your favorite movies and draw it out. Draw, uh, do a storyboard for it and see how you can figure out figuring out how they did it themselves. All right. Well, have a great day, everyone. Thank you for joining me.